Okay, in this short video, I'm going to show you how a couple of ways you can remove material from a, an object. In FreeCAD, just, um, just like any of, of the other features in FreeCAD, there's multiple ways to do the same thing, which is great. Uh, different ways solve different problems. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you um, in Sketcher how, do you, how, how to remove uh, materials. So I'm starting out, I have, a, I have a sketch that's just a line, and I'm going to pad that. And I covered pad in, in a different... Um, in a different tutorial and you'll see sometimes you lose um, you lose what you're drawing and uh, the way I always get it back is just to is to fit the whole fit the whole contents in the screen that kind of happens a lot for me with FreeCAD I don't know if it's a problem with FreeCAD or, or, or my problem but I just you know I just adapt this is open software so there's gonna have some some rough edges and just get used to them and work with them and you'll be good to go so I want to change this pad I want to make it a little smaller so you can change that pad uh, down in here I just want it to fit on the screen a little nicer so that I can see it. And we're just going to change that to 10 millimeters. Now, because there's there's points where FreeCAD is interactive and points where it's not, and this one is not going to change until you actually move off that field. Um, and it kind of looks like it didn't change. Okay. Oh, there's that length. Okay. So I want to change this to, let's just change this to one. I want to make it look like that. All right. So now I'm going to fit the content again. So there. So I have a boxy looking sort of thing. I don't know why that's looking. Anyway, not going to worry about it. So, um, so to rem to remove material with sketches, uh, you're going you're going to sketch the outline of what you want to remove what you want to remove. So in this case, um, I like to do I like to do uh, remove circles. Let's find let's sorry let's control Z get rid of that one. I want a centered circle or mostly centered. So let's put it here and get our point constraint there. So that's what I'm going to remove. I'm going to close that. I'm not worried. I'm not doing um, any cons constraints right now because I don't really want to teach you that. I just want to. I want to kind of just get the idea of, of how to remove something. So in Pad, we we made something. In Pocket, we're going to remove something. So, th and this is a this is a part design tool, but it only works if with sketches. So, it's, so you'll see it's it's removed material. And in this case, it went all the way through because this object is, I think, only one millimeter high or something. So you can ch you can change this value. Um, let's let's cancel that. Let's make this guy bigger. Let's make him ten. All right. So now we know it's, and you'll see the face, the sketch moved with that. I love it. This thing is great. So um, let's pocket this. So now I know that's a little bit bigger. And it's going to probably go through all the way through still, uh, oh, just to the bottom. So let's say if I want it to make a one millimeter pocket, you can see it's only there. So now if I want it to go all the way through and I don't know the dimensions, I can just do through all, and that just goes all the way through all the all the geometries. Um, and then you can you can if you uh, to first or up to face, you can have some other uh, ways. So symmetric to plane will remove it um, centered around the plane you choose. Reverse will do the opposite of what opposite direction. So if if this was a a, a pad and I hit reverse, it's going to pad this this direction. So default was uh, so um, for example, if I hit reverse here, let's hit it and you see what happens. It disappears because now it's trying to it's now it's trying to pocket in this direction. Well, there's no geometry in that direction, so you don't get anything. So reverse is great if it's uh, if it's pocketing in the wrong direction. Um, so that's how you that's how you remove material with on a sketch based geometry. So now if you go let's go to a part the part workbench and do a solid geometry. Okay, so I'll do the same. I'm going to do a cube, and let's move that guy over. This is how this is one way you can ad hoc move things is transform grab and uh, grab the hour why it's not let me grab navigation oops that's why I go with blender style um, so the navigation style you choose matters so now if I try to do a um, if I try to do a sketch here you'll see that it's it's gonna fail um, so if I try to do a sketch based on this it's gonna say Select the me method to attach. This sketch to selected object, flat face, uh, don't attach, etc. If you do this, and then, so then let's, I'll show you. If I put a sketch here, 
looks looks like all is well and good. Now when I select the sketch and I try to do a uh, a part based pocket, you'll see it says it's it's going to try to to solve a problem it, because the sketch is not a part of the active body or this 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 object. If if I do make independent copy FreeCAD sketches or <laughs> sketches FreeCAD crashes. And if I try to do any of these free CAD cr crashes, so either that's a bug or it's not something I'm supposed to do. I don't know. So I avoid that. So in this case, because I have a cube, um, there's a better, there's a different functionality in the part workbench and the park workbench I'm going to do. So let's do a, um, let's do a cylinder. So there's my cylinder and I'm just going to, I'm going to just do a manual, a hand transform of this. So now my cylinder's right in the middle there. Now on, on FreeCAD, unlike OpenSCAD, it doesn't matter if the faces are on the same plane. FreeCAD understands that this is the face of the cylinder and then there's a face of the cube. It doesn't get confused by that and leave artifacts behind. So now to do it, to get rid of that, uh, the cylinder area in the center, you select cube and you use your modifying key in, in, in Windows and in, um, in Linux, it's control to select both. Don't note it as an apple. Um, and then these objects are um, Boolean operators. You can join them. So you make um, make them a union, or actually, I'm, no, it's not a union. This is uh, this is um, this is a Boolean cut. This is a union, and this is an intersection. Um, oh, so this is a generalized. It, it lets you do all three. So there's our cut all the way through. Now you notice it didn't give us any options about what what to do with a cut but and if you go into here you can you can change some of the aspects of the cut um, so you can but you can't change the size of it so you can't I don't know if you can um, well what you would do is you'd create the cylinder the size you want and and cut that out so the sketch the sketch um, pocket tool is a little more interactive um, during the creation of the cut whereas the the, the the solid the CSG I guess uh, method is or uh, constructive solid geometry the, it's in, interactive in the creation of the two geometries so um, now there's one more I think Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So for this trimmer extrude, what you want to do is we're going to so we're going to select a center object, and I'm going to do uh, trimmer extrude here. Now, what you'll notice is it doesn't seem to understand what I want to do, and that's okay. Um, it doesn't know which which direction I want to extrude in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the Z key to tell it that's the direction I want to extrude in, and you'll see now. Now I've got an extrusion. You can see it coming through the bottom there. Okay, so now I've ex I've extruded that way. That's so that's a draft extrude. So the great thing is there is you can kind of build up the model in place. There's some visual interactively interactivity. I really like that. So now we're going to go back to the parts design. Um, we're going to select the two extrusions. Okay, and we're going to do a boolean boolean cut on those. And you see, there we go. We've got our third way to uh, to to cut away materials. One in uh, sketcher based, one part uh, CSG parts based, and one in draft based. Three ways to 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 cut. Thank you for watching. If you like these, um, 
I'm going to keep trying to do three ways in each of each, each of the subjects because I think it helps to understand the workflow of OpenSCAD and that, or I'm, I'm sorry, of FreeCAD. It, it helps to understand the workflow and that you can approach different things in, in, in different ways and they do intermingle to some extent. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more of these uh, and I would definitely like it if you liked the video and shared it and also don't forget to click the alarm um, so that you get notified of new videos. Thanks so much.